What's the deal, man? It's boy Dwayne McLean at the Wayne McLean TV. Shouts out to everybody supporting the channel and supporting the boy DMTV too and rocking with this channel. We're trying to build this channel up. My main channel is back up and running. We will be putting some time away this uh, weekend to give y'all guys that edited content that's been long so missed. Um, the first thing will be done will be the Patreon content first, and then we'll get to the YouTube. I just seen Blueface and Crayshawn. Somebody sent me a picture of Blueface and Crayshawn's wedding, and it was so much symbolism in it. It was crazy. So I'm like, yeah, y'all need me back out in these Illuminati streets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> it's just been a, it's just been a minute. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to my groove. But uh, this not that's not the topic for today's video. You know what I'm saying? Um, the topic for today's video is about this dude named Tier Nichols. Um, somebody hit me up, man. They just want me to speak on it. Y'all know y'all want to hear my little topics on it. Y'all know I don't trust the police. All right? Now, there are some good cops out there. There's some bad ones. Nine times out of ten, when they pull me over, I already know they up to some things. But um, there are some good ones. I remember one time I had to call them because I was in a situation with this female who was destroying my car up. And uh, I had to get out of the car because she was beating, them, beating me up while I was driving. And I got out of the car in the middle of the street. And I asked the cops to escort me home. And they, they escorted me home. You know what I'm saying? And they were real calm, too. They had my back and everything. But um, so I don't want the world thinking that all police is bad. Sometimes you're going to need them. You know what I'm saying? Because I was not about to be beating a woman up. And then I get charged up. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen this right here, it was five black cops beating up a black dude. Now... It's about the, like I said, it's about the dude named Tier Nichols. All right, now I ain't did the name breakdown. I'm pretty sure you break his name down because I think is it Tyree? I don't know what the boy name is, man. I don't know, man. Y'all be having some names, bro. Y'all be still getting mad at me because I call little TJ, little TJ. TJ does not have a dash or an EE, -E. it's just T and the J, so it's to J, anyways. So Mr. Tier Nichols got beat up by five cops and he passed and he was crying for his mama. That's how I know it was a setup. Why you crying for your mom, man? You 29 years old. Mama! Mom! Black man got stopped with that crying for that mama stuff. I remember last time I was in a situation. I about to go ride to my mama's house. Now, the last situation I got there, I had no choice but to call my mama because I had to go to the hospital and uh, somebody had to watch my kid. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I had no choice but to call my mom. But, um... Uh, situation like that, yeah. But most times you ain't got. If you, if I'm in a situation, I'm not calling for my mama, and that's why I know something was set up about this. I don't trust this situation. All right, do do cops beat people up? Yes, they do. I'm telling y'all how to handle the police, man. Y'all can avoid. Like, like, look, nine times out of ten, when cops beat y'all up, it be because y'all be acting up. I'm being for real. When cops pull me over, I immediately turn to Billy. Okay, I am no longer Dwayne. I'm no longer Patrick. I am Billy when I get around a cop. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yeah, okay. All right. Here's my ID. Here's my license. That's not marijuana smoke you smell, sir. That's not marijuana. I, I do not smoke marijuana. I do no narcotics, sir. No, sir. Yes. I'll, I'll, you need me to get out of the car? Okay. Just follow the directions. Um, we need to put, put your hands behind your back. Okay, because I got when I got arrested, I got it. The cop said, he said, man, I never arrested somebody so easy. He already let in. When you cooperate with police, they give you perks, man. Like, not Percocets. Y'all be some of y'all drug addicts be want some perks. They give you, like, when I got arrested for a failure to appear, um, my what happened was my lawyer didn't go to court for me. So I was speeding and I had a suspended license, but I had a, a permit to drive for 24 hours by the law, by the state, through the military. And uh when I was speeding, so I'm like, right, I'm about to get a ticket and I'm I can drive in my license suspended, I can drive. The lower didn't show it for my failure to appear. I had to go to jail. I was in jail for like seven hours. It stinks. But since I was so cool, the cops would take my handcuffs off. I got unlimited phone calls the whole night. Y'all got to learn how to turn the billy when y'all get arrested. See, y'all get arrested. Y'all want to, what am I getting arrested for? Hey, officer. Like, look, these people already got egos. You got to understand what you're dealing with. Anybody who wants to be a cop, nine times out of ten, got egos, got bullied when they was a kid. So you're dealing with somebody who's already high strung. And then these people... Think about it. The cop is the most stressful job in the world. One of the most stressful jobs. They're dealing with a bunch of situations on a day-to-day basis to where their, their lives are in danger. So, of course, they're going to be angry. Now, am I saying Mr. Tier Nichols was acting up and got the cops beating him up? I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, if you cooperate with the cop, they're just not going to beat you up. It, it doesn't happen that way. I, I haven't seen it happen too many times. Are there rude cops? Yes. 
But if y'all going back and forth with the cop now, and he's already got an ego issue, already got a chip on his shoulder, you gonna the best thing you can do is be the de the, the de escalator in the situation. And nine times out of ten, like I said, the cop is when, it, when, he, when you turn up with him, he's gonna turn up with you. But that's why I'm saying this situation we're here. A lot of these stuff that they show on stage are staged. That's why I call them. I didn't I didn't mess up saying that. When they show it on stage, it's staged. When they got it on camera, that's a stage, man. That's a TV set. George Floyd was a TV set. All right, TV set movie all right the other situation all of them tv sets and movies every last single one of them so i don't want everybody to thinking that this stuff right here is actually really what's going on now am i saying cops don't be beating up people they're not shady cops out there yes there are but and when it's caught on camera like this and shaking the world up y'all google right now you can google the numbers of how many times cops have disengaged their disengaged their weapons on somebody randomly you know what I'm saying? And took the lives. The numbers are like 500 to 1,000 last year. So 1,000 people got shot last year by, by police. 1,000 people all from different races. 1,000. You can look the numbers up. Where were the 1,000 stories at on the news? They only report the ones they want you to report where it was perfectly staged. They don't want to report no real event. They can't report a real event. If they report a real event, that, that kind of messes up them in the situation they can't report a real event at times because real events are, are they're, they're going to play out differently and it's not going to have the same effect and it's not going to be that ritual stuff it didn't happen on the right day the right time and it's a real event meaning that their guys are not going to be put into place meaning they can't strike the emotion with this guy Terry nichols 29 years old getting beat up by the police and screaming for his mom for one, they got to show, and that is black cops now. So I want to see Black Lives Matter out there. Same situation. Y'all got to have the same energy. Just because they black cops, it's still police. Because at the end of the day, y'all argument was, yeah, we have violence in our neighborhoods, but the cops shouldn't be the ones being violent towards us. Okay? Shouldn't be the one being violent towards us. All right? Pretty much what y'all saying. So if these are black cops, I want to see the same energy, which I probably won't. And I don't want to see nobody, like I said, why there's uh, there was a thousand cop shootings last year in 2022 through all races where was everybody at with those little small towns we had a cop have a situation in my small town where he shot somebody where's the outbreaks for that y'all not going to come out for no real stuff you're only going to come out for stuff where it's staged and funded okay this right here is just a funding okay rodney king was a setup that was a psyop George Floyd was a sign. All these would be psyops to enrage the person, to get them emotionally engaged, to get them emotionally angry, so they can be, so they can cause turmoil in the city, and it's distraction based. Y'all gotta understand, 365 days in a year, TV comes on 365 days. They're gonna need people distracted 365 days. We we need story after story after story. They got stories planned for 2025 coming up. So. Y'all got to be ready for that stuff. So I'm just letting y'all know uh, way ahead of time what's really going on. This stuff is just a way to keep you guys distracted so y'all don't really want to actually band together with your neighbor. That's really what they, they, they keep you distracted from the real issue. The real issue is we can't cooperate together on the same page to overthrow the government. Honestly, that's the real issue. That's the, the, the distraction. The distraction is they distract us from how much power we have when we stick together. We're so distracted with our day-to-day -day lives. This is just something. And I was at the gas station earlier. All the old single women from every race, white, black, Asian, Spanish, single women in general, be at the, the um, and, and it's them old men too. So it's just single people in general are at the gas station talking about, you see what happened to that boy? You see what happened to that boy? I don't know how that old generation just gossip. All y'all did was gossip. The men gossip and the women gossip. I don't get it. Why that, why that truck sitting there, boy? I'll be telling y'all, boy, it's a, I don't trust that suburban right there, man. I'll be the one parking over here, man. You see, man, I'll be thinking they, they be looking at me, both people be watching me, both feds taking pictures, bro. Anyways, so going to the gas station this morning, hearing the people talk about it, already shows me that their plan is working. People are already emotionally upset about it, not knowing if you read your paper, this happens every day. Every day through every race. They beat up 15 Asians last year. They beat up 30 Mexicans last year. They beat up over 40-something black people last year. They beat up over 50-something black people last year. And they beat up over 300-something unknown races last year. This is all facts. You can Google it. Just, let's Google police violence 2022. 
Google it. Maybe my numbers might be a little off, but they're, they're kind of in the same range. Kind of. So all I'm trying to get at is you guys are picking and choosing when to be upset because the TV tells you to. We got to learn to turn that TV off because if I, when my wife, if I'm married and I find that woman that can be quiet for two whole hours without even breathing too loud and I get married, I would tell my wife to turn that TV off. Stop being worried and being concerned about the TV. Most time when I deal with anybody in my circle, friends, relationships, they're usually on the same type of time I'm on and they're not even caring about a TV. Meaning if there's a Black Lives Riot, Black Lives Matter riot in my city, we would not participate in that propaganda because I have no issue with y'all rioting. I just have an issue with y'all stopping the riot. The fight is going to have to last 10 plus years. You just don't riot one time. Woo, I'm mad. Ah! And then next week you're back to your business, your, your, your BS. And then the TV tells you to get mad again. Oh, I'm mad. The TV said get mad. You're mad because the TV told you to get mad. And then now you're, you go back to being on your BS. Stop doing that. I have an issue with that. I am all for rioting. I am all for boycotting. If long as it's in the right purposes, don't just ride and destroy things. As long as you are doing it for the right purposes and as long as you stand on that type of time year round, okay? People don't do it, all right? Y'all just do it when the TV tells you to. So this is just another side out that they plan on black people and the world in general. Don't fall for it. It's the Border McLean, Dwayne McLean TV. Let me know what else you want me to blog on, and we will be bringing that old school Wayne back. I'm going to give y'all that old school feel. We might even do a retro intro. Y'all don't even remember the retro intros while I used to come in with the PlayStation sounds. Y'all don't even remember that. But um, we're going to be coming back with some of the old Dwayne, all right? Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I'm out.